Hello, Tony from Carton Cloud. With release 79, we've had a big release on our Android mobile app. Now, um, previously, we weren't able to do scan moves. We can now. We can also scan um, serial numbers and batch numbers and things like that if we set them up in the system. And when I talk about setting them up in the system, if I was to come in here into Tony's Transport uh, and I go into a customer, um, and the customer I'm going to go into is DG Man. Um, if I edit this customer, I can go on into the warehouse management and purchase order products. And in here, I have set up custom field for a serial number. Um, and in here under serial number, I've got that it is scannable and scannable on outgoing. Mm -hmm. And I can also use it to split to the lowest unit of measure. Um, the reason you would do that on a serial number is because each serial number would be for each individual piece. Um, when you're talking about a batch number, we could have a hundred items which are on that batch number because they were all produced the same day or the same week or whatever it may be from the manufacturer. But serial numbers are always individual. So serial numbers down here on the bottom where you can see that we can actually split to the lowest unit of measure. So if we were to go into a sales order, which we had um, for packing. What I'll do is I'll shoot over to the Android app. Um, we can go into, press the, the picking button. Uh, and here you can see I've got a sales order for New South Wales Rural. Um, when we click on into this and we hit start packing, um, what you can see is I've got two rows here of fire extinguishers. Now, if I slide my finger over to the, uh, from the right through to the left, we get scanned data. So I can click on that scan data and here I've actually got a, an Android um, scanning device and what I can actually do is I could scan the first serial number and it will pick up on a serial number and then we can go in and I could scan, for instance, I could scan a batch. And it's picked up on that straight away and it's, and it's gone on through. So I could then go and as you can see here in the in the in the middle here I've got the expiry date, underneath that I've got the serial number and then I've also got the batch number. Um, so I can go on in and I can confirm quantities or whatever it is I, I'm doing with this one. I can also make it so that it's verifiable so that when I actually scan it, it actually, it actually um, creates off. So if I hit scan data here um, and then I go through and I pick my other two items. And because I've got batch number where I don't actually need to, to um, grab that individual batch, I can then also go in and scan my final and hit submit. So now I've got all of the data in there. I can go into that item and I can actually confirm the rest of the picking and I can finish my packing. And we're done. So what we've, what we've sort of done is, is we have aligned um, we've aligned um, the Android with what we're already been doing in iOS. Um, yeah, so hopefully that one will help too.